Hello everyone, it's Becca from Becca Books and Bujo, and today I am playing my March Deck of TBR game. So before we jump into playing the game, I wanted to recap how February went. Um, I drew five cards in the month of February, and the first was a Jack, which was for Book of the Month, and for that I picked Reckless Girls um, by Rachel Hawkins. I have not read this one yet, um, but I still have six days left in the month, so I do believe I will finish this one. The next prompt I got was a Queen, which was two prompts in one, so it was a low rating, and it had to include the or of in the title, and for that um, I picked The Vacationers by Emma Straub, and I did read this one. The next card I got was a King, so I had to play my TBR right, um, and I put a book I didn't want to read up against a book I did want to read. The book I didn't want to read was Maisie Dobbs, but I did end up losing the game, so I had to pick Maisie Dobbs by Jacqueline Winspear, and I did read this one. And then I got two TBR jar picks. Uh, the first was Before Ever After by Samantha Soto, and I am 80% of the way through that one, so I should be able to finish that one up probably later today. And the second uh, TBR jar was The Reader by Bernhard Schlink, and I did read this one. So I finished all of the books in my deck of TBR again for the second month of the year, which I'm really proud of. I um, have also read quite a few other books, and so I will be uploading my uh, February reading wrap-up next week, so tune in for that. Um, but before we start yet again, I just want to let you know one book that I really want to try to get on here. Um, it is The Last Thing He Told Me, and I don't remember who the author is of that one. Lauren. One sec. I was close, Laura, Dave. Um, this is for my in-person book club that I'm a part of. Uh, I have already read this one, but I want to read it again so that I am ready to discuss it with my friends. So that is the only book that I hope to get on. Otherwise, um, it is open to whatever the cards give me. So I realize I need to um, update a couple of these that I didn't add on here last time. And so let's see what I get here. A random publishing year. I'll put that in the, what was my last draw? Oh, so it was the five and seven. Oh, I barely got to, I got all face cards last time, so I barely got to use even this part of the board. Um, but we'll put that there, and then a second one is released 10 plus years ago. And I am going to pick a new bomb book. I like to just switch this up every month, and so I'll put Les Mis back in. I could draw it again. Um, I hope not, <laughs> because I don't want the Joker, but we'll see. So, okay, I got Harry Potter Le Coupe de Feu, which I didn't get to change out to Harry Potter et l'Ordre de Phoenix. Um, so if I get this, I just have to um, make sure I complete the 85 pages per month that I'm hoping to read. Um, I haven't been doing that in the months of January and February. I am very behind, so that would be good actually if I got that. Let's get the Joker this time. <laughs> That's the only time you will ever hear me say that. Okay, just giving the cards a quick shuffle. And we will start. I'm drawing five cards. Oh, and thank you to the people who commented on my last video about um, how I should play if I get either three of the same suit or three of the same number. And I am gonna do three of the same number. So if I get three of the same number in one game, I have to add an extra draw. It's less likely that it'll happen, but it still adds some suspense. <laughs> okay, so here is the first card. We got a six of diamonds. Great. Okay, so I got short story or essay collections, and for this I want to read The Sh Secret Lives of Church Women. Se Secret Life of Church Ladies? One second. Okay, yeah, it is The Secret Life of Church Ladies by Disha Filia. Um, I'll put a picture up here. Um, it is... Um, a short story collection. I don't know much about it, but I've um, got it recommended to me um, from various booktubers, and um, I'm excited to listen to that one. I have that one on Scribd, so I will be listening to that one on audio. Okay, first draw done. Second one, let's see. A king. This is another play my TBR right. 
So I will figure out my two books that I want to put up against each other and I'll get a new setup and we will play. One second. Alrighty, so here I am. Um, I am putting um, The Secret History up by Donna Tartt as the book that I don't really want to read. It's not that I don't want to read it, just maybe not ready for it right now. And I'm going to put it up against um, The Last Thing He Told Me by Laura Dave. Um, because that is one I need to get to and I thought to like thriller mysteries would be good up against each other. So I'm going to put five cards here and the last thing he ever told me is over there. Um, and let's see what we're starting with. A two, which is great because then I know the next card will be higher. A four. Wonderful. Um, we're going to go higher again with this one. A jack. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go lower for the next one. It's got to be lower, right? Got to be, got to be, got to be. Nine. Okay. That's right in the middle. Um, my gut is telling me to go lower. Let's see. I hope I'm right. Lower. Yes. Ah, oh, barely. Okay. Editing Becca here, and I must have terrible mom brain, um, because 10 is not lower than nine. So that's embarrassing, um, but I will read The Secret History by Donna Tart, I guess, because I did lose Play Your TBR, right? Um, and then I hope to also read the last thing he told me. Uh, whoops. Embarrassing. Okay, moving on. <laughs> So for The King, for Play Your TBR Right, I will be reading The Last Thing He Told Me by Laura Dave. I'm going to get set up into our um, board again, so be right back. All right, we're back to the first setup. Um, I should have said that The Last Thing He Ever Told Me I have on Scribd, both audio and um, on ebook, and so I'll decide how I want to read it. I'm probably leaning toward ebook just so that I can, um, I can uh, fully be ready to discuss it for the book club. So I shuffled in those five cards um, that I used for player TBR right. I'm gonna give one more shuffle just to make sure they are fully in there and let's see what my third draw is. A Jack. Okay, Jack is a book of the month. Um, I will check out my book of the months and see which one I want to read this month. Okay, so for book of the month, I am going to read The People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. I've wanted to read this one for a very long time. It has been on top lists for 2021 for people. Um, it has been on top romance lists, and I'm really excited to read this one. Okay, before I forget, I need to replace the Six of Diamonds prompt. Um, so let's do that really quick. I got beautiful cover. I've gotten these before. I need to... Make sure I'm recycling these correctly. I put them in a separate bin to not, um, to make sure I'm getting more of them. Okay, now that we've got that settled, let's draw the fourth card. We've got five of hearts. Okay, this one is what's at the library. So I just went to the library a few days ago and I think I'm gonna pick one of the books I got there um, because it was just on the shelves and I saw it and I wanted to read it. So, I actually have it down here with me. Um, it is The Illuminae Files, the first book in the series um, by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Um, this one I've seen everywhere um, and I thought it looked really cool because it's like um, mixed media um, and I think that'll be fun to read and to get through. Um, I know it's also sci-fi. I read a lot of sci-fi last month and I don't think it is my genre but I will try it um, just for this one um, because it has been on a lot of people's top books of the year in videos I've seen in the past. So this one will be for what's at the library. I've got a very orange theme going for my books so far. Okay, last pick and we're not in danger of having to draw another card. Um, so let's see what it is. An ace. Leaving it up to chance with my TBR jar. Okay, let me get that. Here it is, the TBR jar. I had to draw this one, or I had to draw from this twice last month um, and gave me some all right books. Um, the one I'm reading right now, I'm enjoying. It's interesting. Um, and then I also got the reader and that was uh, interesting to say the least. Not bad, but also not my favorite. 
So we will see what the TBR jar gives me this time around. Okay. Less. Okay, I do know where that one is. Okay, so this is Less by Andrew Sean Greer. I don't know much about it, so I will read the back for you. Who says you can't run away from your problems? You are a failed novelist about to turn 50. A wedding invitation arrives in the mail. Your boyfriend of the past nine years is engaged to someone else. You can't say yes, it would be too awkward. And you can't say no, it would, be, it would look like defeat. On your desk are invitations to half-baked literary events around the world. Question, do you arrange to skip town? Answer, you accept them all. What could possibly go wrong? Thus begins an around the world in 80 days Fantasia that will take the novelist Arthur Less to Mexico, Italy, Germany, Morocco, India, and Japan and put thousands of miles in between him and the plight he refuses to face. Welcome to the bestseller embraced by readers everywhere. A love story, a satire of the American abroad, a rumination on time and the human heart. Less shows a writer at the peak of his talents raising the curtain on our shared human comedy. Sounds good and cute. Um, I do like travel books um, or books that include travel in them. And so I think I will enjoy this one. Good job, TBR jar. Okay. Let us recap what we've got here. These are the three uh, physical books I have. Um, but the first card was... Um, short story or essay collections and for that i'll read the secret lives of church ladies by can't remember again my brain is ruining me today um then the second one was play your tbr right i got i won the game and so i will be reading uh the last thing he told me then for um my book of the month oof I got People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. For What's at the Library, I got Illuminate by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. And then for my TBR jar pick, I got Less by Andrew Sean Greer. So those are my five books for the month. I am very excited. Um, I should mention that I'm taking part in the Buzzwordathon uh, hosted by Kayla at Books and Lala and uh, the the prompt for March is location. And so for that, um, I'm actually going to use the secret lives of church ladies because church is a location. So we're calling that um, my book for Buzzwordathon. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Comment down below if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.